You better love yourself. You better love. You better, you better love yourself. You better love. You better love yourself. You better love. Hi guys, I'm Siobhan, pronounced like the material, and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I make videos all about health, beauty, and fashion. So today I wanted to share with you guys the different types of pharmacy career paths. And I just made a video about what I do as a clinical pharmacist and an educator, but I wanted to share with you guys the numerous types of pharmacy career paths that you can go into. So while I do that, I'm actually gonna get ready. So I guess this is a chit chat, get ready with me. <laughs> So I am going to get dressed. So I have my dress on, which I will show you guys at the end. And then I'm going to do my makeup and my hair. So let's jump into it. I've already um, put my primer on. So I use a Tatcha primer and obviously moisturize my skin. So now I'm just going to put my foundation on and I'll be right back. So guys, it is a true skill to do your makeup and talk at the same time. So please bear with me. <laughs> but I'm about to put my concealer on. And so I'll put my concealer on, just talk to you about, um, just give a brief statement of what I do. So you guys definitely go look at my last video um, regarding what I do as a clinical pharmacist and educator, but I work in a general internal medicine clinic and um, I do um, chronic health, see, I'm struggling already. So I do chronic disease state management and um, for adult medicine. So patients who are 18 and older. And then I also bring um, pharmacy students with me to clinic. And then I'll also um, teach as a, well, I'm a professor at a school of pharmacy. Um, for more details on what I do, make sure you go watch that video. I'll link it. So I'm consider my career path is considered um, academia uh, clinical specialist because I'm a professor, but I also still practice because there are professors that do um, do not practice pharmacy anymore. So there's actually, and I have I'm looking down because I wrote some notes. I didn't want to forget things. So there's actually um, a full list of different um, pharmacy career pathways on the website. I'll link it below, but it's a website from the American Pharmacy Association. So we call it APHA and it's called a career option profile and they list like the multiple different career options in uh, pharmacy. Hold on guys, let me put this concealer on. Yeah, they have a full list of um, career options. The most common career pathways that I know of, um, um, one is community pharmacy. So when you think about community pharmacy, that's typically like pharmacists that work out Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS, you know, the, the common um, pharmacies that you see. And also like um, the pharmacies inside of uh, grocery stores, Johnny Gold's, like Men's. Um, like that. And so what they do um, is they dispense your medication. So you get prescribed a medication and it goes to the pharmacy and the pharmacy dispenses it. So what they do is they make sure there's no drug interaction. They make sure that the dose is appropriate for your age, the other medications that you're on, um, the health conditions that you have. I'm um, just making sure everything's okay. Um, because we are the drug specialists. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the most common ones. Um, and I know a lot of community pharmacies. Um, also, besides Wal Walgreens and things like that, there's independent pharmacies. And that is when it's a pharmacy that's not associated with like a big corporation like Walgreens and Rite Aid. It's just like, 
a normal person like me who just wants to go make a pharmacy. So there's a ton of independent pharmacies. There's also um, more and more black owned independent pharmacies popping up as well. So yeah, um, so that's one of the common pathways. Another pathway is academia, which I am in. <laughs> I love teaching. So academia can mean like, um, doing didactic lectures in a classroom, but also being a preceptor for students um, during the rotation. Um, also, uh, and the rotation is basically when you go to a uh, practice like, such as a, a hospital or um, community pharmacy and you have someone over you um, showing you the ropes. So um, you can be a preceptor for that. Also a preceptor for residency, so during our um, Pharmacy, uh, after pharmacy school and you go to residency, um, you will have a preceptor then. So that's considered academia and also like um, um, preceptor for like a fellowship. So there also, yeah, also there's different um, positions as a pharmacist uh, professor. So not only are pharmacists at school of pharmacies, but they're also pharmacists at medical schools, um, physician assistant schools, nursing schools, and these pharmacists typically may um, teach in like drug uh, delivery or like pharmacotherapy or, or medicinal chemistry, um, things like that. So yeah, that is academia. The other common one I know is, which is like exploding now, is pharmacists in the pharmaceutical industry, okay? Um, I'm not in the pharmaceutical industry, but I know a ton of pharmacists who are, and they are making that money. Okay, honey. And um, the most common positions that I know of in the pharmaceutical industry are um, medical liaisons, and then you have your pharmacists of research and development. I'm not 100% sure of what they do. Um, I do know they're necessary. So to know, learn about more about what they do in their role as um, pharmacists in the pharmaceutical industry, I highly recommend going to the American Pharmacists Association website that I will link below. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, so I just put my highlighting powder on under my eye and my face powder securing my foundation and I did my eyebrows and I put some eyeliner on. For a more in-depth video of how I do my foundation routine, I will link it above somewhere up here for you guys to watch if you like. So I named the three most common um, pharmacy cures that I know of. Another common thing for pharmacists to do is go into a clinical specialty. So these are pharmacists who are board certified in a certain area. Um, some common areas are ambulatory care, uh, which I practice in. Then you have your cardiology. And then what else? We have nephro nephrology, compounding, poison control, like so many. Um, and I'll put that link down below to the Board of Pharmacy um, Specialty um, um, website for you guys to see the different type of specialties that pharmacists can go into. And then um, there's also a ton of other clinical specialty opportunities such as like pediatrics, um, nephrology, if I didn't mention that already, critical care, geriatrics, um, just pharmacotherapy. So it, it's just so many different specialties. And when you're going through pharmacy school, you'll kind of get a gist of what you're interested in through and during your rotations, um, during your internships outside of rotations. Like if you intern at a pharmacy, a, a hospital or a community pharmacy while in pharmacy school. So you may find a specialty that you really enjoy and then post-residency you want to get your um, board certified in it that's an opportunity for that so um and i'm looking down because i have a list i don't want to forget some things oh so um some other common um, pathways that some people may not think of um is nuclear pharmacy so one of my old preceptors actually work in nuclear pharmacy. And these are pharmacists who um, handle radioactive medications or um, just medicines or, or other pharmaceuticals. Um, so yeah, they're, I heard 
like their hours are a little bit crazy. Like they really work like at the crack of dawn and every night and things like that. So that's an interesting pathway. Um, another pathway is pharmacy law. So I know a ton of pharmacists who actually has their Juris Doctorate. So that means they went to pharmacy, um, law school as well. So they know a lot about pharmacy law and legislation. Um, so that's definitely needed in pharmacy um, to continue to move the profession forward. And also like as pharmacists, we, we, when we take our exams to be um, licensed, we take a pharmacy exam and then we take a law exam and law exams differ from state to state. Uh, so you need to know the law. <laughs> There's so many laws around drugs, medicines, it's, it's crazy. So um, you typically professors that teach the law class in pharmacy school have their, their JDs as well. Another pharmacy career path you may not think of is pharmacists in nursing homes. So there, uh, there are pharmacists who work in nursing homes or long, long term care pharmacies um, to help provide medication care to our elderly patient population who may live in um, nursing homes. So, yeah. Um, so, I highly recommend going to that link below to see the different type of pharmacy um, career options. And um, when it comes to pay, the pay for different pharmacist um, positions, they, they differ depending on where you live at, obviously in the um, US or around the country, what your specialty is, um, how long you've been working for, you know, your experience, which plays into account of any job you get, right? And the more specialized you are, the more money you make. So typically the um, pharmacists that I know, they make at least over six figures. So six figures is $100,000 a year plus. So full-time pharmacists um, on average will make that. Um, well, greater than 100000 $100, a year. And depending on what your specialty is, you'll make more and more. I do know a pharmacist who makes 300000 a year, um, but he go he is in hospital administration. So yeah, he makes a, a, quite a few uh, pennies. <laughs> but it is a lucrative career, especially if you get full time and um, you get benefits, which is very important when you're thinking about a career, you know, if you get health insurance and things like that, you, you'll get vacation and stuff like that. So pharmacy is a career. It's not just a job, it's a career. So I twisted my hair up last night using melanin hair care products. I used the um, lotion, the oil, and the cream. So I sectioned my hair into four sections and then I sectioned those four sections into three sections and I just did some flat twists and these are the results. Okay guys, so I picked out my fro a little bit and I have this pink dress from Saks Fifth Avenue. The brand is called Stein Goya, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And then I paired it with my towel for a small shopping bag and then my white Birkenstocks because I'll be walking around a lot. And yeah, here's this cute little dress. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please thumbs it up if you do. And comment down below if you are a pharmacist or a student pharmacist and you're interested in a specific pharmacy career path pathway. And also subscribe if you want to see more of me. And remember, wherever there is a drug or a medication, there's a pharmacist behind it. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace and love.